Hi, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to control a robotic arm using Microsoft Excel, from teaching it to executing program movements. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to show your support. Thank you. Let's get started. This is the concept. The robotic arm is equipped with six servo motors to control its movements. I've labeled each motor as follows, X servo, Y servo, Z1 servo, Z2 servo, rotate servo, and grip servo. In this setup, I'm using buttons to manually control each servo motor. The Arduino Uno is acting as the controller, and I'm utilizing the PCA9685 as the servo driver. My Arduino is connected to Microsoft Excel using serial communication. I'm using the data streamer add-ins and VBA macro in Excel for this purpose. Please refer to my previous video for details on how to install the data streamer in Excel. Every time we move the robot using the buttons, the position data for each servo motor is transmitted to Excel via serial communication and received by Excel. We will use this data for the robot teaching process. To execute the robot's movement program that we've created, Excel will send the target position data for each servo, which will then be received by the Arduino to move the robot to the target position. This is the Arduino code, and I'm utilizing the HCPCA 9685 library to control the servo motors. These are the pins used as input for the buttons to manually control the servo motors. These are the variables used to store the positions of each servo. In the setup, I'm configuring each button as an input with pull-up resistors enabled. When powered on for the first time, move the robot to the home position. This is checking the status of each button as a command to move the servo. The process incoming serial function is used to examine incoming data from Excel, which will then control the robot's movements according to the data received from Excel. The following code is the command to move each servo if a button is pressed. This is the detailed function of process incoming serial, which receives serial data from Excel and adjusts each servo to the received target position. This is the print position function, which will send the position data of each servo through the serial communication, to be received by Excel. To control the robot's movement speed, I've implemented two different settings, normal and slow. This is the function used to move the robot to the target position at the desired speed. This is the Microsoft Excel file we're using. In the data streamer, don't forget to connect it to your Arduino device, and click Start Data to begin data communication with the Arduino. We can move each servo using the buttons, which will be handy during the robot teaching process. Every change in the servo's position when manually moving the robot will be displayed in the current position of servo table. Now, we're going to try the teaching process. Move the robot to the desired position using the buttons. In the Excel file, click the Move to List of Movement button, and the servo positions will be transferred to the List of Movement table. Then, set the desired speed, either normal or slow, and we'll have the position for the first movement after the home position. Next, we're moving on to the second movement. In the 
Excel file. Once again, click Move to list of movement to save the movement, and set the desired speed. You can also execute each movement by clicking the Run button corresponding to the selected movement number. Repeat the same steps to save the next movement. After creating all the movements, you can proceed to run each movement one by one to verify that they meet your desired criteria. Select the movement number by pressing the forward or backward spin button and then click run. If any movement needs adjustment, you can manually move the robot and update the desired servo values accordingly. After ensuring that all movements are as desired, you can proceed to run the robot's movements automatically. Click the Start Run Auto button, and the program will calculate the total number of movements. Then, press the Run Auto button to start the automatic movements. If you want to stop the robot's movements, release the Run Auto button, and the robot will stop at the last movement performed. In the list of movement table, you can see the green highlight, indicating the movement currently being executed by the robot. You can also save the created movement program into a new file by clicking the Save List button. This action will copy all the created movements to a new file. Save the file with the desired program name.
To convert the created movements into a function in the Arduino code, click the Convert to Arduino Code button. This will generate code on the Arduino code sheet that can be copied into your Arduino code. This allows the Arduino to execute the program independently of Excel. Thank you for watching. In conclusion, with Microsoft Excel, we can easily program a 6DOF robot arm, making the process both simple and enjoyable. Don't forget to like and share this video, and of course, subscribe to this channel so you won't miss the next video. See you in the next video.